the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. It's a very interesting story. Um, the Lord opened my eyes to a very deep mystery here. And I want to share part of it with us. Verse 1. Okay, it's projected. Now Jericho was straightly shut up. Why? Because the children, because of the children of Israel. And it says, none went out and none came in. Imagine, ladies and gentlemen, a situation where a city is shut. Nothing is allowed to go out through it. Nothing is allowed to come out. It's a description of the lives of many people. The Bible says this city is shut in a way that nothing can go out. And it means it cannot receive anything. It cannot give and it cannot receive. Are we together now? And then the Bible says, verse 2, And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thy hand Jericho and its king and the mighty men of Velo. This is God speaking. Verse 3. And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shall thou do six days. Verse 4. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day, he shall compass the city seven times, and the priest shall blow the trumpets. Verse 6. And Joshua the son of Nun called the priests. Notice now. And he said unto them, Take up the ark of the covenant, and let seven priests bear trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. Now look up. We're going to continue. But the Bible is describing something very interesting here. Do you know that the surprising thing about this scripture is that the purpose for fighting that land was not to occupy Jericho? The Bible never said they fought and they said, let's enter. So what was it about Jericho that they needed to destroy it to continue their journey? I thought that they would fight. God said, I've given you the land. How can you wait seven days, fight, defeat a city and then keep moving? That meant Jericho was not just a city. Jericho represented something that was a deep mystery. The Bible says nothing could go into it and nothing could come out. Meaning if you found yourself in that city, there was no possibility of connection with any environment outside. Nothing could go out. Nothing could come in. Are we together? A city so fortified, the Bible says five chariots could hang on the fence of that city. And then joshua the son of Nun. notice the strategy in order to defeat this city he said i know you have men of war but now i need the priests not men of war gather the priests and then introduce the ark of the covenant and then surround keep going around that challenge with the ark notice this don't talk don't do anything just carry the ark and keep surrounding that city that is so fortified there is no human way of crumbling that city but he introduced the ark listen carefully and he said to carry that ark and for six days all i want you to do is to gather the priests the ones who mediate between god and man carry the ark a symbol of the strength and the presence of god because he was trying to show Joshua that what you see is not all there is. If you fight physically, 
there is a force that makes Jericho Jericho and that even if you pass Jericho in peace Jericho will not leave you in peace are you getting what I'm saying now it was not the issue of occupying is that something needed to be broken in Jericho for their journey to be successful a city you can't see the king you can't see the citizens but the city is fortified nothing can go out nothing can come in when the lord look let me tell you something about god the tools that he uses tells you what challenge he's fighting when he went to egypt he didn't say moses let me show you how to use the sphere and a gun and whatever he said no egypt is not just egypt because they have men of war there are spirits and so take this rod now he's telling he's telling joshua joshua this challenge you see don't mind the physical size of the challenge there are entities that are standing there to make sure that no form of breakthrough comes no deliverance comes a city that stands as an altar within a territory and he says gather the priests I thought you would confront the king. He said, leave the king alone. Carry my presence. Carry the ark. Start going around. Encompass. That was the language. Just keep going around that city with my presence. Don't utter a word. Let my presence keep going around. Six days. This is what you will do. And the Bible says that they continued that way. Verse 11, so the ark of the Lord compassed the city, going about it once, and they came into the camp and lodged in the camp. Verse 15, and it came to pass on the seventh day, listen carefully, that he rose up early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven days. Only that on that day, they compassed the city seven times and it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew the trumpet joshua said unto the people shout notice from day one to day seven no one was allowed to talk the only thing that was speaking was the ark it was a communication of spirits first there will be a participation but the physical only comes on the seventh day you start dealing with things physical no 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 let the ark speak what you cannot speak when the victory has been established by the ark your shout only manifested what sort of war do you fight with ark not swords carry the ark go round that challenge go round jericho what kind of mason what kind of engineer would deconstruct the blocks they were not held by cement and mortar they were held by covenants and ordinances he said only the ark can deal with this listen let me tell you this jericho is a representation of the kinds of situations of many people the the fortification is such that your shouting and trying to do all you know to do may not provide that solution are we together but the system here the first thing is look for the priest if you cannot find a priest then there cannot be victory you can find men of war but this one requires priesthood it is only priesthood that has the capacity to nullify the mystery that built jericho are we together the bible says here we have been made unto our god kings and priests there is an office of the priesthood of a believer and only that office is able to address certain intricate fortifications of darkness they would have shouted they would have tried fighting and they would have died i believe if they tried to fight jericho the men of jericho would not use swords the mystery that built jericho will fight them and yet on this occasion the lord tells joshua your sword is useful but now not for now your voice is useful but not for now go around jericho those walls you see were not just physical walls those walls the physical walls you see were a representation of something 
he said go around it tonight the lord has brought his presence and let me tell you what has been happening in this service is like taking the presence of god and going around situations you may not understand you were not designed to understand what the act speaks it's a spirit communication there is a place where you shout with your intelligence but this warfare leave it for the ark and the covenant are we together there are languages over our lives and puzzles and mysteries that only the presence of god has a solution over the bible says so the people shouted verse 20 when the priests blew the trumpets and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet the bible says the people shouted with a great shout and the wall fell down flat meaning it was built in a way and manner that it was not just by hands alone the walls that five chariots could stay sank something about the going around with the ark was doing something to the controlling powers that held that situation in other words the building was never the issue you will be deceived to think because the building is large it is a function of the engineering and here god is revealing and said joshua don't waste your time just like a situation that has been for 15 years 30 years and you may think because it has stayed so long it's just that those who have been fighting it have been fighting it physically let me tell you when the act goes round, it doesn't take long you will see a situation that you thought was so long crumble you will see joblessness all of a sudden crumble the assignment tonight is to find a priest take the ark blow the trumpet and let there be a shout and you will watch jericho notice the bible says when jericho fell down flat the bible says the people entered and killed everything inside and they carried the treasures so that city was fortified and god challenged them to destroy that but the city was holding a treasure that was needed for the next level of their lives there was wealth and blessing and the city would not allow anybody enter in or go out are you hearing what I'm saying? And God said, don't act like you would not need what is in Jericho. Stay and destroy. Pay the price. Crumble the city. Pack the treasures. And you will need it on your journey. Couldn't they have followed another route and passed the people? Since the people did not want to open and close. It's a sign of peace. I can just leave them. But you leave them, you will need the treasure that is in Jericho. Because you see, satan never has anything that is own is his own everything he has he stole it are we together carry the ark it was a powerful revelation and i began to think about how many people try to fight battles physically how many people waste their time to try to manage things no the key is to tap into the mystery of priesthood a system that can talk to spirits a system that can challenge controlling powers the bible says for the weapons it says we wrestle not against flesh and blood we wrestle not against the annoying neighbor we wrestle not against the landlord we wrestle not against the joblessness situation in nigeria that every jericho has a force behind it you fight jericho physically you waste your time when you allow the ark fight before you come there the city has given you way you never enter a city until the ark defeats the city when you enter a city and try to fight the city will tear you into pieces because every city has gates spiritual fortifications there is the jericho of wealth and prosperity nothing comes in nothing goes out yet your treasure is there your life remains at a standstill because a fortification has been built so you don't challenge it spiritually so you go and start a business physical nothing works 
you leave the business and get a job physical nothing works after that you go and meet your uncle physical nothing works will you allow the ark to talk to the controlling powers are you getting what i'm saying now you want a job you carry your certificate and tell an uncle somewhere uncle sir i i want you to give me a job and he says bring your cv and you keep rejoicing for years that your cv is with someone and you keep it because until spirits are confronted there is no breakthrough believe what i tell you those who understand this keep triumphing cheaply by invoking the mystery of priesthood now the symbol of defeat for any people is the absence of a priesthood and the absence of an ark even if you have a sword if there is no priesthood and there is no ark there is no victory listen carefully the most important components to win the warfare of life is not the swords it's not the spheres it's not the business ideas it is the presence of a living priesthood and the presence of an ark hmm. not everybody can carry the ark everybody can benefit from the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark this is a mystery everybody is allowed to partake of the implications of the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark if there is no priesthood then there is no ark then there is no victory even though there is an army even though there is a sword please hear me carefully some may trust in horses some may trust in chariots some may trust in certificates some may trust in human connections some may trust in business acumen some may trust in all kinds of things but i show you how we win in life it is the token of the priesthood the ark the trumpet it is not just physical things when the gates and the doors are fallen then your sword becomes useful are you seeing that you only submit the cv when the controlling power that stands from your village and has vowed that nobody who is through this bloodline will excel is a waste of time it is vain to wake up in the morning listen carefully and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrows those you see triumphing in life are men and women who have understood the mystery of the priesthood they always allow the priesthood and the ark to precede them they will fight but they know when to fight look at me i came tonight to deliver us from a life of hustling a life of doing physical things you would think i don't know what i'm saying many people will not listen you will get up please help those on that you will get up carry certificates around life is spiritual there is no jericho that does not have spirit until the ark goes before you and until the priest carries the ark there is no possibility of victory treasures in jericho but the door is closed your treasure you can't go in you can't come out are we together do you know there was a woman there who should be saved i'm not sure rahab you can see that Rahab was part of God, the army of God. But listen, the Bible says that she was stuck there. Her too could not go out and come in. For as long as she was in there, she was called Rahab the prostitute. Until she came out of that dungeon, did she become one of the, the, the genealogy, the lineage of Jesus. For as long as some of our family members and there are situations that are left it's not only treasures that were carried there some persons were also rescued everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me Everything that was stolen 
shall be restored we prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored listen let me tell you this the more i understand the systems of the kingdom the more i see honestly that there is no hope of deliverance for many people until they find out these mysteries those who win in life are not the smartest those who win in life are not the most educated some of them by mercy they stumbled into these mysteries and you watch gates open and you are there with your knowledge wondering how unfair life can be jericho 45 nobody entered from your village your father tried fighting physically they destroyed him your mother tried doing business they destroyed her your siblings went to school god masters god phd the door said i don't open i don't receive and i don't give the lord said joshua stop wasting your time it's not about nigeria it's not about recession find a priest quickly find a priest one who is an act bearer don't just try to do it on your own i know you can fight but this is priesthood listen carefully it is the foolishness that has destroyed many proud people in our generation the bible says by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt it's not human worship it is the mystery of priesthood the priest the ark the trumpet equal to the falling of jericho when jericho falls you can fight with whatever you have when jericho falls your pure water can make you a millionaire because jericho has fallen when jericho falls one destiny helper is enough you don't need party when jericho falls one job can bless you but until jericho falls anything done outside it it's a waste of time I never fight physically physical battles are the last it is foolish to begin your journey to victory fighting physically look at Jesus on his way to the cross he spent time in Gethsemane because he knew it was not about wood and nails it was about spirits satan came to him in matthew chapter 3 matthew chapter 4 satan left him came back to him in peter he defeated him came back in judas he left him something was playing out and jesus knew that he needed to settle certain things when he went to that cross satan did not know that certain dimensions of priesthood the order the protocol of priesthood had been kept let me tell you fear any man that understands priesthood even if he's a herbalist are you getting what i'm saying the people in the world know this and they triumph from one level of victory there are business people in this nation that will never do anything until they make sure there is an ordinance of priesthood that goes ahead of them life is too fierce to be physical no sir Are we together you try getting a baby physically it doesn't work you go to the hospital doctors do their best it doesn't work you try and try let me tell you when you try a thing once twice three times it doesn't work just stop stop wasting your time stop immediately the bible did not tell us that one person was killed when jericho fell the people the same spirit that fell the land rendered the people helpless even the weakest of the members of the army killed somebody it was never about the sword it was about victory when the ark wins you win the only possibility for your failure is that the priesthood is not there show me the priesthood that has risen to speak over the ordinances our forefathers as uneducated as they were they understood the mystery of priesthood till today many of them we laugh at them yet they keep getting results everything that was lost shall be returned unto me 
Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored Listen, unto me. The Bible says everything written in scripture was for our learning. That story was not just written there. God intended that someone with the eyes of the spirit can see and teach a people that you don't win battles with swords. Swords only help you possess your possession. Swords only help you manifest victory. They don't create victory. What creates victory, brothers and sisters, is the priesthood and the ark. What manifests victory is your sword. It is true that the horse is prepared for battle, but the horse does not fight until the priesthood goes. The nation of Israel will be going for war and they will carry swords and then they will carry priests with a trumpet. Look how silly it is to be going to fight. They can wipe a whole nation. Yet there are some people with some irritating regalia and the painful part is they are never behind. They are in front. The priesthood, they are afraid. But they know what they carry. They depend on the ark. Left for me, you will kill me. And the enemies are laughing and saying, you have come to fight us like this? Priesthood. Our generation is a very arrogant generation. That's why we may never get results. Many young people just, I'm not saying anything is wrong with intellectualism. We have so, we have demeaned ourselves from the reality of the realm of the spirit do you know you look at certain people and you are even annoyed because in all honesty you see the efforts i'm correcting you now you have been doing it wrongly you have been fighting a neighbor even if the neighbor leaves provided jericho is there it doesn't matter who comes back the battle is the same listen if jericho is still there leave zaria and travel to lagos leave zaria and go to us right from the 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 airport there trouble will meet you but crumble jericho and remain in your village and watch the booty of jericho look for you and come it is not by strength it is by strategy i show you a strategy tonight to command strange signs and wonders is the mystery of the priesthood Do you know Do you know why Saul lost his throne? Are we Bible students? Do you know why Saul lost his throne? Who can tell me why he lost his throne? Saul did not lose his throne necessarily just because he offended God. Saul lost his throne because he, of, he offended a pattern, an order of operation. He waited there was a man occupying the priest prophet office who was supposed to be the one to offer incense and they waited for him and the king said look you are wasting our time the people are destroying me say ah, is it not the same god we all serve the same god and he offered the sacrifice and when samuel came he said no you have done foolishly if you allowed me to come god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this the throne is taken away from you just for the sin of violating priesthood a man lost his throne without knife no knife nobody fought him but he lost his throne david tried to do his best to still respect him he was sitting in a physical throne yet he had gotten up in the realm of the spirit show me the job in the realm of the spirit otherwise stop wasting your time with cvs around it will not work are you getting what i'm saying you just get up physically and go and harass your unbelieving loved ones i've come to you repent you must repent you are fighting physically and all of a sudden you receive casualties but when you invoke priesthood someone goes to bed in the night and sees a stranger coming and says it's time for your salvation and the person is already convicted here you come and you say look i want to talk to you about he helps you and say jesus i've been waiting because jericho has fallen are we together 
you meet your destiny helper jericho covers his eyes he is the one but he cannot see you and you pass but when jericho falls like the prodigal son as prodigal as that son was while the father saw him the father didn't even say so what have you been doing i hear you have been with pigs he held him he said leave the matter of the past now let me put a ring come be restored for by the arm of flesh koinonia will no man prevail you will never get a job just by physical pressing believe me you will never prosper just by doing all of these things there are many men of god some of you are here wonderful men of god they are trying to win the battle and rise in ministry physically please invite me here's my complimentary card i'm a sound man of god by god's grace i'm balanced i'm this and that and that you are and jericho is looking at you and say it doesn't happen that way jesus knew this imagine jesus going around and saying people come and listen to me for 30 years no one was interested in listening to him but when he engaged the mystery of the priesthood he came out of the waters a voice spoke hear ye him publicity or no publicity everywhere jesus went men followed him are we are we together the bible says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness let me tell you many of you your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit but the system for translating it we are there wasting time doing a lot of things many of our loved ones some of you are here you thought that okay by the time you get a job it will be all right you got a job you found out that the salary was not enough you prayed for promotion as promotion came to you all of a sudden jericho says that's not how we win i'm still here standing but tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let me tell you you will watch jericho just like babylon fall before you it's true listen when you hear people testifying huh try to understand what made the miracle work because most of what they were doing they had done it before master we have toiled all night jesus said no it's not nets that catches fish Abba, you've been with me you don't understand how this thing works master we have toiled all night he said but i know there is a relationship between you and that fish and jesus said cast your net the net will be casted but not before he speaks it is after he speaks the cv will be submitted but not before the priesthood it is after are we together you will try to have the child but when you continue the way you are doing you will keep miscarrying forever it's not an insult let me tell you this without the presence of god there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us it's not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial jesus has come to your heart but he must come to your life just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free potentially you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities but Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says, having their understanding darkened. This is Paul teaching the church in Ephesus. He says, alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Having the, the tragedy is not that God lied, but that their understanding is darkened. And so by reason of the darkened understanding, they have been alienated from the experience of that life. It's not enough to say Jesus died. It's not enough to say I'm born again. If that were it, brothers and sisters, many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were. 
I watch people under the influence of manipulations that are not of an earthly, an earthly origin. And I watch the folly of men, how we do our best. I was once like that, but no more. I'm born again. I've repented. I've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically. It has to be from the realm of the spirit first. Not from the realm of the spirit, whether first or not. The order is first from the realm of the spirit. When you plant a seed, it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there. That is the part you cannot explain. When it starts coming out, you can now water it. But the growth there doesn't need your watering. Listen, there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights, some of us will never experience progress in our lives. We wake up in the morning, we sleep late in the night, we are sincere, but nothing is working. Are we together? Yes. Every time a blessing comes, trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything the moment you are rising spiritually how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that when you are rising satan doesn't fight you you will think you are victorious the programming he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down so he can as well allow you to rise and you find out for a season everything is working well because it's like a string you will reach a limit it pulls you back are we together oh i want to marry you no problem you will even be happy three days later everything scatters i'm going to give you a job and you find out that satan does not need to fight you he already fought you with the presence of jericho and god said guys the goal is not to stay in jericho but you can't let jericho stand and reach where you are going don't pity it bring it down there is a don't just look at the fence there are captives in that place there are treasures in that place and he said let me show you it is not by physical fighting you don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence brothers and sisters jericho sank flat the bible records it flat this is what is going to happen to many of us tonight that's why that's why i i told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals it's for families enough of this fruitless trying doing everything by strength there is a system in the kingdom are we together the priesthood there are some of us here we're ministry some of us probably travel for a long time we're men of god we love god but it looks like there is a peg brothers and sisters let jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be there are people who have experienced the defeat of jericho but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused jericho to fall for them they just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory so they can trivialize the existence of jericho jericho is real if you don't see it in your life a priesthood already brought it down for you are you hearing what i'm saying but everyone who must pass remember israel is god's own people what is the business between israel and Jer they had conquered other nations what do they need the treasures of jericho when you read your bible with an open heart you will see that there are gaps you have to be spiritual to get an explanation i fight i defeat jericho and i continue my journey but i carry rehab i carry treasures there is rehab there without rehab there is no jesus without rehab the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry rehab hmm. we look to yahweh yahweh our hope is yahweh yahweh we look to yahweh yahweh 
soon going to pray the Lord rejects Saul as a king and now looks at David but there was no priest to confirm what God wanted the priest that was available still wanted Saul and David could not be king God Almighty had left Saul and wanted David Samuel said no I still want Saul and God remain helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. That's why you can have a dream. You see yourself collecting a, a job letter you saw it in 2014, no priest. 2015, no priest. That your dreams show you Eden. Your life shows you Adulam. There's a system of translation. Are we together? And all of a sudden, the Lord now spoke to Samuel. He didn't quarrel Samuel. He said, Samuel, how long will you keep weeping seeing that i have rejected saul as king rise up carry your horn go to the house of jesse go and anoint the next king of israel paraphrasing and david remained there i'm sure david will be in the wilderness and say when will my change come the change was in a negotiation between god god already intended in god's mind this is the next king and the king will sit with sheep and say, Oh Lord, when will my breakthrough come? And God will say, The day a priest comes. All of a sudden, the priest agrees and God's will continues moving. A priest refuses and God remains. Moses was wise. He said, Lord, I already know you too well. Don't ever let us go here if your presence... If that I could not go before us, I'm not going. No, Moses said, because my going is as good as wasting my time. I, I, I know what is before us. And he said, my presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. Rest is a gift. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Rest is a gift. My presence will go with you. And I, through my presence will give you rest my presence will clear up the spirits and whatever you do when you read second chronicles 20 the same thing happened three kings came together to defeat the people of god and all of a sudden the bible says the priests and the musicians were now in front and they began to sing you are good and your message endure forever the ark started fighting them who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver? And the Bible says all of a sudden they turn. Can you imagine allies together? When the ark starts fighting for you, is fearful. Are we together? Fearful. You are standing close to danger. It never touches you. Before it touches you, something touches it. The priesthood. The people started killing themselves. And the Bible says everyone helped to kill another. That's not a man fighting. That's the ark fighting. And all of a sudden, when the last two were left, he killed one and the ark said, what are you waiting for? And he carried the knife, killed himself. And when the people came, they found gold, they found treasures. When the ark fights, it fights thoroughly. 
when you fight if your hand paints you like moses and start going down you see that they can defeat you but you carry the ark and let it begin to fight they kept the ark and they kept dagon these people brought an entity a god enshrined with spirits called dagon the bible did not show us there were any physical contact by morning dagon fell face forward on the ground the superiority of the presence of god above any enchantment and any ordinance when you see the ordinances that have been enshrined by your cultism and all of these things prevail is because the ark has not been lifted tonight we have come in this place to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same jericho that causes barrenness it is still jericho the bible didn't say jericho do you know look at the interesting thing jericho fell flat but the woman who stayed in the fence how god delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand but the bible tells us everything fell down flat to break every chain 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 is to break every chain break every chain break every listen brothers and sisters we're about to pray but i plead with you in the name of the lord to believe this mystery as simple as it looks and you will watch the wonder in your life stop focusing on physical things you will cheat yourself a thousand times nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own if anything on earth stands there is a force keeping it There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain, break Listen, the type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when Jericho is down. Anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down. Listen. I have seen anointed men and women of God. People I know love God with all their heart. But they can never prevail in ministry. Because they have been fighting physically. They do everything. And sometimes you wonder and say, ah, look how great this brother is. Look how great this sister is. Is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it? Hallelujah. Listen. People make all kinds of gifts for me, as you can imagine. People make all kinds of gifts. And sometimes I see what people do, and I'm shocked. I say, life is so unfair. How can this brother, this sister be this gifted, and yet be begging? And you see someone come out from somewhere, and priesthood goes before him. And in one week, his life has changed. They can even be sarcastic. Priesthood will make them take life for granted. There is a system of ease that God wants to bring to your life. Please hear me. There are families here listening. You have done all you know. 
why don't you allow God allow the ark come into your home tonight and let it go round Jericho allow the ark come into your life tonight let it go round Jericho and you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself hallelujah I was told recently about a young man very nice wonderful young man who loves God everything you know in life including good things fight him and recently I think something happened they stole a phone and the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy and he was sitting down the man kept the phone there and police came and took two of them together I got a text the person sent me a text and when he narrated everything that was happening i usually don't call people back but i was touched i called him i said where are you he said apostle look at my life nothing works i said how did you get to the police station he said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him you think that's ordinary maybe that young man breakthrough is coming for him another thief from somewhere steals comes to drop a phone close to you does the police not have common sense to probe and they carry you together because there is a spirit coordinating this it looks like coincidence someone just falls from a chair just a little chair like this and all of a sudden one side of him paralyzes it's a lie it's not that chair that paralyzed him be smart people fell from trees plucking mangoes and they were fine they cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away you fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg no a a coincidence navigated the chair was just the scapegoat it's not about the chair tonight we are going to pray before i begin to minister you are going to say satan so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job I thought it was all about marriage. I thought it was all about children. I thought it was all about my background. Now I'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem, provided Jericho is standing there. But Joshua, gather the priests. Gather the priests. Have a look at those listen look at me i want you in the mind of your spirit look at that job issue look at that issue and say i will no longer be deceived you are not the problem the problem is jericho it is never that the business cannot work it is never that helpers cannot come once jericho is still standing here nothing can go in nothing can come out lift your voice and begin Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I challenge. I challenge the spirits. The spirit. The ordinances. The ordinances. The spiritual forces. The spiritual forces that are responsible. That are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I declare. I declare that victory must be established in life. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible tells us, listen, that we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man. The man, Jesus, he qualifies to be a priest, not the spirit, Jesus. The man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the Aaronic priesthood. The Bible says his priesthood is of a better covenant after the order of Melchizedek. A priesthood with no beginning, a priesthood with no end. That there is that eternal priesthood of Jesus. Listen carefully. We are talking about very deep foundational issues here. Jesus, the man, the priest that took his blood. The Bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all. Once and for all. The advocacy of that priesthood is superior. Listen. Every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says down listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon are we together and so the bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight you will not need it the moon the sun and moon they are important but i'm introducing something jehovah god himself will be the light that sponsors your altar the same way listen listen that men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon and god says these things are inferior i come with another priesthood my own self the son of righteousness i am the light are we together i want you to be tired of what is happening in your life and family I tell you the truth when we begin to pray and I begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories cheap victories. amen this is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts do you know brothers and sisters listen let me teach you something for as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems your frustration continues i can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force hear me all of them the same electricity is causing this fan to run the same electricity is causing the mic to work if you want a shutdown off the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work 
that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministry lord visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family lift your voice and pray everyone that asked receive it lord visit the foundation why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery oh god lord why the circle of tragedies one tragedy after another one tragedy hallelujah 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 please just just be silent for a moment i want to start ministering now let's just the lord is giving me instructions just just be silent stand where you are um something is happening inside outside everywhere the lord is showing me something very strange now um let me just describe what i'm seeing i'm seeing something that looks like um this thing people wear what's the name this thing that looks like a ladies thing that men wear that that looks like a yes that that thing that's what i'm seeing on many people and the lord is telling me on everyone that i see that thing in there is a very strange deliverance because that i'm hearing hidden glory and i want to pray please you don't don't shout don't do anything just let me flow you start bringing those people out i'm going to pray now for those group of people i'm seeing it because i'm seeing that those people no matter what you do your glory is never seen you will struggle and try but nothing ever happens now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands just silence everywhere father i'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that i see by the power of priesthood i come as an ark bearer an envoy tonight and lord i decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free restore their glory now hidden glory that's what i hear in the spirit hidden glory hidden glory there is glory but covered in jericho covered by the fence of jericho everywhere inside outside i'm praying now please just be sensitive let's let's do what god is directing us to do tonight there must be total victory total victory now i'm praying for families the anointing of god will come on individuals but it is for families it will come on you once that anointing comes on you now know that god is visiting your family lord i pray now i release the sword the sword of the lord in the name of jesus to every family if there is a family here whose glory has been buried nobody rises where are they i decree and declare now by the anointing of the holy ghost i don't 
don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here but in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus i command now by the power of the holy ghost let there be emancipation emancipation for every family hidden glory hidden glory the bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and then we beheld his glory the lord is still touching people the lord is still touching people that's why you came you have done the listening let me pray now hallelujah lift your hands something serious is going to happen here now now i want to pray a very serious prayer the lord is leading me to pray this prayer i just had in my spirit altars of poverty hold on just keep your hands lifted father i'm praying you spoke to my ears altars of poverty if there is any family here in an ordinance under that cause nothing works there is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works in the name of jesus i declare right now by the fire of the holy ghost let there be deliverance now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost altars of poverty everywhere overflow one overflow two overflow three online if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege i decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight for all of you in front here i speak to the spirits you know my voice in the name of jesus and at the count of three you let them go now one two three go go out of them now out of every one of their destinies out of their lives Shekatos kabariata i invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives release their families now release their destinies now You know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision so something else in the name of jesus play now lift your hands i declare the spirits that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the holy ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated i command now at the count of three be set free one two three be free now 
free now. Be free now. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Hallelujah. Oh, Sephia, Sephia, Sephia. Like Sephia, I'm hearing a name, Sephia. Who is that, please? Let's, let's hurry up. There is a lot to do. I want us to settle down and really pray for the sick. Sephia, who is that? Arise, arise, arise. Your name is Sephia. How about you? Madam, the Lord will locate the person. I'm standing here and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord touching the person God wants me to speak to. Arise, I'll pray for all of you, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I deliver this lady now. This lady on red, I command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone for you it's over now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus i release you now by the power of the holy ghost by the anointing of the holy spirit be set free right now set here the lord bring liberty liberty now i command those altars to leave you in the name of jesus christ the anointing of the holy ghost bad luck bad luck i take it out of your life the spirit of i'm seeing a lot of bad luck i take it out of your life now release their destinies now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there is a lady a physical person appeared to you in the room this is a woman whose face you know like a relative physically where is that person please someone you were not dreaming appeared to you and there was a conversation from that day your life never became the same please don't be ashamed i want to pray for you please don't waste our time we have a lot to do the lord is ministering to me someone appeared i'm not saying you were in a dream this thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical who is that person i want to pray for you please when you find that person let the person come quickly who is ola i'm hearing a name ola Ola, I don't know if that's the full name, but there's Ola, O L A. There's someone with that name, Ola. Please don't come out if it's not your name. Who is this? Huh? Your name is Ola. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Rejoice. Breakthrough has come to your family. This lady, I'm, I'm Kai. Look at the evil and the witchcraft I see over this lady's family. All these people are, please help me find out. Why are they here? All of them, their names are all are interesting. Come. That lady with cap, come. Your salvation has come. Come. This lady with, lift your hands. Over now. Over now. Over now. Calm down. Madam, come. I'm seeing what happened. Yes. yes. A woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be able to physical. Physically. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Look at this. When was that? Last year, May. She appeared. Face to face and tell me it shall never will be able to. No matter how, whatever you take, that you are not feeling fine, the medicine will not work. And from that, hold on. From that day, something started moving in your body. Yes. It will move and come to your back and come to your chest area look at this are, are you seeing a swelling here you are seeing this a woman appears to her i prophesy to someone here Jacas koto parakatia anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life i curse those people now 
I curse those people now. I curse those people now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Madam, I deliver you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free now in the name of Jesus. The living and the dead don't have anything in common. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is speaking to me. There are some of you, all you see is dead people. All you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people. I'm prophesying, lift your hands. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on such people now. In the name of Jesus, if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command a separation now. The spirit of Hades, I speak to you. The spirit of Hades, Christ has triumphed over you. Oh, death, take away your sting. Take away your sting. Hallelujah. There are a number of you here. I presume you are all Ola, including this gentleman on wheelchair. That's your son. That's your brother. What happened to him? What happened to him? Accident. Since when? 2015. And he paralyzed you. You can't move now. Oh dear. We are going to pray for the sick. But I want to pray for Ola now. Just, just stand. Bring for me the person. I'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now. Aside from this lady, there is, there is an anointing coming on one of you. Let me speak to that one person right now. I'm seeing a closed door. This is someone's destiny. It looks like I'm holding the air, but I'm seeing that I'm holding a padlock in the spirit. Whose destiny is that? Among these people standing. Open, 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 open now. I command that destiny. Open. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You came alone? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't worry, I'll pray for the sick, sir. If, I'm, if I don't talk, are you Allah, sir? No, don't, don't come out until I ask you. This is witchcraft. You would have died since last year, June. Yes, sir. It's God that kept you. I will pray for you. I've seen your case already. If I don't pray for you, in three months, you will not be walking again. This is stroke. What is wrong with you? Yes, sir. All my body. This is what I'm saying. I'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again. We have to pray. This is witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Come, my dear. This lady. I'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical, in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing an old woman. Hold my hands. What fellowship. The exchangers of destiny. I hold the hands of this lady. And I declare right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be a restoration. A very beautiful girl in the physical. But I'm seeing the face of an old woman. Be free now. In the name of Jesus. I command the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life. I command that your destiny be restored. Your destiny be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you standing here. My, my brother. This gentleman, come. What's your name? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a printer, sir. You are a what? Printer, printer. Nothing is working in your life. I need to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I break this embargo I see upon your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This row, I'm seeing deliverance. Chicken feather. That's what I'm seeing. Chicken feather. This is an ordinance over a family. Just this row. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Mama, I know that it's not time to pray, but I want to pray for you. Please come, madam. You came alone. Let her come. You came alone. I, I did my father and my 
out at me here. So one of my say, son friend brought me here. When you are talking, everything you say is just about as if you are. Where, where did you together. come from? I come from uh, Samaru. From but, Samaru. Um, Basawa. No problem, Mama. Yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something I've Thank seen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The suffering. The suffering. The sorrow. The sorrow. In my life. In my life. Must end. Must end. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will eat. I will eat. The fruit of my labor. The fruit of my labor. Father, by her confession, Amen. let her be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that captivity is over. I pray for all of you now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, don't be embarrassed, eh? Be careful with men. Come. I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people, but be careful. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. The deception and the wickedness of evildoers. I pray for you now. Every captivity in our last family, whether male or female, as I stretch my hands over you, I command that it leaves you now. It leaves your family now. I say it again, it leaves you now. It leaves your family now. In the name of Jesus. For the last time now, an anointing will come on you. It leaves you now. It leaves your family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, everybody. Gentlemen, when it's time to pray for the sick, we'll pray for you. Huh? Just be patient. Please help him so that he doesn't strain himself. All of you lift your hands. One scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now. Why are you here, my dear? You are with him? Oh, is your daddy. What? Okay. Since then, there is something that has been working on his body. Like you had an snake. accident? Yes, sir. Okay, and what happened? And since then, something has been working on his body, on his stomach, like snake. At times, the thing will... Are you seeing what I'm saying? So it was never about accident, you see. Accident was just the condition that made this happen. I saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again. But the Lord would destroy it, eh? Just be patient. We want to pray now. Let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray exodus chapter 15 quickly please 6 to 11 exodus 15 we're going to do a quick walk we need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families thy right hand O lord is become glorious in power thy right hand O lord has dashed into pieces the enemy next verse to 11 and in the greatness of thy excellency Thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood up right as an heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. To 11. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil my lust shall be satisfied upon them i will draw up my sword my hand shall destroy them next verse thou didst blow with thy wind and the sea covered them they sank as lead in the mighty water who is like unto thee O god among the gods who is like unto thee glorious in holiness comma fearful in praises doing not delivering doing wonders that's what you're about to see now lift your hands he said i will pursue i will overtake my lust my desire will fall upon the people of god i want to pray listen deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down is 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 bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a pattern, a separation. The Bible says the river separated Tether and Hither. Separation to allow you move. I want to pray. Are you ready now? Remember that after they moved the seventh time, it was a shout, the healer. A shout, not just any shout, a shout that was sent 
like a word and the bible says the walls of jericho fell down flat that shout is what you are about to do but let me issue a command in the spirit in the name of jesus christ the one whom i serve and whose i am in the name of jesus i declare over every force in the spirit the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of god's people as they shout this shout wherever they are i command those spirits he said when they hear my voice they will run out of their hiding i command not only an exposition but a total separation are you ready to shout jesus at the count of three one two three in the name of jesus i command that fire to fall every power every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment go now go now go now every enchantment paparakato soto preketelekata every enchantment every enchantment be free now hold on hallelujah i usually don't do this until i'm directed hallelujah i usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right i just want to pass through you don't have to touch me except it is not god that has called this meeting if there is a force and a spirit it must be exposed as i pass you in the name of jesus thank you father i decree and declare right now by the anointing of the holy ghost every power every force every power every force every power every force you must go now now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus as i pass you that anointing like fire is coming upon you to set you free be free now free now free now free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ those of you outside lift your hands lift your hands i'm going to pass here right now the anointing of the spirit is going to begin to come upon you are you ready now thank you jesus you don't have to touch me just just allow me pass be careful be careful father in jesus name let it be over now there is fire now that fire is moving all across now in the name of jesus ordinances be broken now i'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are in the name of jesus let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now be free now let it be over now 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 in the name of jesus christ be free now in the name of jesus as i'm passing close to you an anointing is causing every power let them go the spirit of the lord is telling me to stand here right now in jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now i came here because i know that there are so many of you look the crowd in this place i want to pray for you i'm standing here my god look at the oppression that i see just standing here i'm about to pray right now and from the front to the back from the left to the right i want all of you to shout jesus something is leaving people already are you ready now your destiny must be open please don't take it for granted bring them out now at the count of three overflow three one two three be free now be free now in the name of jesus i command my god please help them jesus christ look what is happening here from the front to the back right now anyone here under the siege of darkness be free now 
be free now help them be free now lift your hands over flow three i'm praying for you are you ready to shout jesus again there are many of you you try to move forward but the force keeps holding you as you shout jesus now you're going to see something leave you are you ready father all those who have been held captive i declare that as they shout jesus let your fire of deliverance come upon them one two three i release you now i release you now i release you now go forward i release you now delay broken i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen i'm going to pray for everybody but the lord is saying there are some of you here the call of god is upon your life but there are altars fighting you i'm about to release you oh god i'm seeing 17 one seven where are they oh god right now to the back where are they they have the call of god but an altar of darkness tying down their lives Mata soto be free now hallelujah i'm going to pray for you look up please there are 11 of you the lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family and the anointing that anointing of that joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people lord where are they to the back right to the back that anointing a destiny is rising no even if you are the last born i decree and declare let that anointing find you now let that anointing find you now the joseph anointing the joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren hallelujah please lift your hands overflow three it's not about falling down although there are several things happening here but i want you to just focus the last prayer i want to pray for you many of you will be surprised what happens to you listen i'm seeing keys like a key that was missing some of you were once you were destined for certain things and the devil veered off your life and as it is right now the treasure that god gave you you have lost it as i pray for you that restoration anointing is coming upon you some of you is anointings some of you is business connections lord where are they at the count of three let that fire come shout jesus at the count of three one two three receive that grace now restoration fire 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 shake up butter please open your mouth and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray great grace great grace great grace great grace new season, new season. mama look at me it's over over forever over 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 it's going to use you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please everyone pray in the spirit. everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit pray in the spirit pray in the spirit 
Overflow one, pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Overflow one, I want to minister to you now. Listen, please, I want you to believe everything. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands, all of you. There are some of you here, as I'm looking, I'm just seeing chains. I want to pray at the count of three. I didn't come to waste your time. Right now, that chain is going to leave people now. Anyone here under the sound of my voice, and there is a chain of darkness overflow one. I declare at the count of three right now, let that chain be broken. One, two, three. I command that chain be broken now. Help them, please. Be broken now. To the back. Shakasko Pariata. Zato Kata. Be broken, broken. Fire is coming. I'm seeing fire moving across the crowd. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break every force, every yoke of darkness. Hallelujah. Are you pregnant? Come. I'm seeing an evil spirit. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go by the anointing of the spirit. I release the destiny of this baby. You will not lose this baby. In the name of Jesus Christ, help her. This lady, that lady praying in tongues. In the name of Jesus Christ, the grace for dreams and visions, the Lord is releasing it upon you. Grace for dreams and visions. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to walk across this crowd. Please, I just want you to release your faith. Release your faith and receive something now. As I walk through, I'm seeing altars and they are living right now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let there be deliverance right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Let that fire as I move, oh God, let the angel of your presence move. Let there be deliverance. It is over. That's what the Lord says to you. Over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Over. 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 Shabbos kata. Sheketis kalabra katoziata kata. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It is over. Please believe as I'm passing you. Don't, don't worry. The anointing of God will locate you. Over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be over now. Now. Over your life. Let it be over. I'm seeing fire moving here like this. Who is that fire for? In Jesus' name, I stretch my hands. Let there be deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Mama, be free. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural deliverance. Um, I'm seeing a circle here. And the Lord is saying, restoration of ministerial anointing. A circle. Lord, where are they? There are people here, at least four of you. I stretch my hands. Let the anointing locate you. The call for ministry. The call for ministry. The call. Parakato Sedekatoshia. Enter. Enter that level. That's what I hear in the spirit. Enter. Enter that dimension. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is? Is it victory or Victoria? I'm hearing a name like a victory or Victoria. Who is that? Please very quickly want to pray for the sick now. It's like you are wearing something like blue. Blue. Who is that person? What's your name, madam? Yes, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. You've been coming. Madam, look at me. God is going to change your story. Amen. I don't know you. But yes. the Lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Hold my hands. Look at me. There is bad luck on your life, my dear. Good things come, but they never stay. And the Lord is saying to take it away right now. Be free. In the name of Jesus, I take away that spirit from your life. I set you free to move forward. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can we go in? Who is Victoria again? All the victories of Victoria be made free right now in Jesus' name. Can we go in from here? Everyone open your mouth and begin to pray. 
prophesy say in the name of jesus i'm breaking forth spiritually in the name of jesus christ it's a new level for me it's a new level for me enter a new dimension enter a new dimension now in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm passing here now there is an anointing move move to the next level i'm prophesying to everybody standing here within the vicinity of this anointing step into a new dimension i release that grace now i release that grace now i stretch my hands everything that has held you down let it leave you now in the name of jesus my god look at this are you seeing the legs are rotting completely in the name of jesus be free now i command be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ look at me my dear go home and write it good news comes for me in 12 days lord lose their destinies i'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing let the destiny be open now open now in the name of jesus christ i'm standing here and i'm hearing i have called you accept my call accept my call accept my call accept my call my call is upon your life my call is upon your life stop fighting my call is upon your life that's what the spirit of god is saying my call is upon your life accept my call my call is upon your life my mandate is upon your life my mandate is upon your life that's what god is speaking my mandate is upon your life you cannot fight it it's an ordinance decided from heaven my mandate is upon your life light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle pastor lawrence speed come where is where is your wife to become come two of you I see a grace for speed lift your hands enter that dimension now I release that grace speed to your life the Lord is taking away delay go and mark it you are entering a strange level I see you climbing a ladder and the Lord is saying it's time for your glory it's time for your glory light me Lord light me Lord light me Lord collect that child quickly from Kenny collect that child speed that grace collect that child in the name of jesus i'm seeing that grace a new dimension of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed hallelujah mm. hey, Jimmy, i'm seeing something for you i'm seeing please stand up i'm seeing a bottle of oil and i'm seeing dollars a bottle of oil and dollars these two dimension the spirit and supernatural resources that grace the lord is multiplying it i'm seeing a bottle a bottle of oil a bottle of oil the lord is giving you a voice not only in the area of finances but a strange demonstration of the spirit please be patient we are going to pray for the sick but tonight I, I perceive God is doing something strange young man come come you and this guy two of you come stand step into a new dimension new dimension in the name of Jesus you will never be the same this guy just lift your hands where you are come enter a new level in the spirit I release that grace now upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm looking at people and I'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat. And the Lord is saying, is the spirit of prophecy. Lord, I'm declaring right now. It's happening to people right now. It will come upon you like a mantle. Prophecy. Prophecy. 
prophecy from your belly from your belly prophecy i command those rivers makato sakata rivers of living water rivers 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 in the name of jesus christ this lady come you come quickly there is a grace the call of god is upon your life enter that dimension of his grace may the lord give you visitations 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 i bring you out of the cage that i see you in i bring you out of the cage i bring you out of the cage i see you inside the cage i bring you out of the cage in the name of jesus by fire i bring you out i bring you out ancestry will not fight you i bring you out of the cage in the name of jesus christ we're soon going to pray for the sick where's where's your wife where is she the lord is saying the powers will fight no more come the powers will fight no more 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 there are ordinances fighting this family i see it in the spirit the powers will fight no more in the name of jesus victory is established the powers will fight no more the powers will fight no more the powers will fight no more in the name of jesus and he's stepping to a new level of the prophetic that has always been there in the name of jesus christ this usher lady come in the name of jesus christ you will begin to see things before they happen that's what the lord is saying i should tell you god is putting something in your eyes you will see things you will see things before they happen in the name of jesus with precision with precision and with accuracy with precision with precision with precision and with accuracy where are these people that just married this lady in welfare where is she now you and your wife where are they she's not around stand up let me pray for you on her behalf in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for your mother let the lord perfect her but i'm praying for you something wants to take finances off your life if i don't pray for you i see great suffering in the days coming it's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet but i cancel it right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i cancel it right now in the name of jesus this fair lady an angel is pouring oil on your head that's what i'm seeing right now an angel is pouring oil on your head breakthrough step into a new dimension step into a new level in the name of jesus christ a new level a new level in the name of jesus christ wato where is she is she here i'm seeing a flag being raised up and the lord is saying it's a new season i'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit the lord is announcing you i'm declaring let that anointing come upon you a new season let that flag be raised in the name of jesus let that flag be raised you will never never be down let that flag be raised in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick let's just flow god you know sometimes this is this lady you come yes say for my shame say it for my shame i receive double the lord is taking me to a new level and i receive it i lay my hands upon you in the name of jesus the grace for a new level 
is released upon you right now i command it so i declare it so in jesus name i pray this gentleman you come confusion ends now in your life i lay my hands upon you i command confusion to end right now from your life in the name of jesus confusion ends now over your life forever in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ confusion ends over your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing i will, I will prophesy generally but i'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I'm, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but i'm seeing an anointing locating that family now this is this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify i don't care whether the resources are there or not i stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of jesus christ let that anointing by the spirit make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of jesus make it happen cameraman come I want to pray for you look at me it will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in Amen. you believe what i'm saying lift your hands father let this brother drink of the grace for favor a fresh dimension a fresh dimension a fresh dimension of favor in the name of jesus christ this lady you come the lord is saying i'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach i lay my hands upon you i'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through i command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of jesus christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast we're going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, i'm in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for god's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this look at this doctor look at this is this sickness look at how the whole leg is rotting already please quickly you're sick in your body come quickly stand if the people cannot move just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't um are we together now we're going to pray it will be very fast because our time is gone we want to finish on time the devil is a wicked person for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh god will grant grace Pastor Lawrence, come. You will join them today. When our backs were against the wall And it looked as if it was over You made a way Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the corporate anointing, we pray. These people have come expecting to be healed, expecting to be touched, I pray that your anointing will visit them right now. In the name of Jesus, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, let there be a release of the corporate grace. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we're free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong with you, my dear? Huh? Fracture. Where? How long? Where is the leg? It can't move. And your hand. Don't worry it's okay and your legs lord jesus please Walk help this lady miracle, in the name of jesus 
Walk my miracle here today. I release that anointing upon you right Walk now. My miracle, I correct your Jesus. body now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit. If they are still praying for you outside, just, just continue. Please, if your request is yet to come here, you can quickly wave it, wave it, and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. By faith, believing that God will visit you. Don't, don't stretch your hands out of unbelief. If there are requests here to come, please let them come here quickly. Please bring them quickly. Shabakato soprakato baladabash. Unto you that answers prayers, O God, shall all flesh come. Rakato sodo brendege barakato shabradiski labaria. Enda kato sata prakato jalabaria kato brendege degodos. Please pray. You are praying in the spirit. You are connecting. Lord, we are believing that we will not have to write this again. Be serious about it. Make sure you are connected by faith. Shakato kaparakato barikata sipriada balarabash. Shakata parakata paroto subriash. Lord, arise in majesty. Arise in your power. Visit the case of people. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shata prakato barakato barikate kate. Shalekate prandakata barakatosh. Eketo kaparokata bariadaba. Lord, let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus. Let this be the last time. Shabakata pakata 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 pakata. Endeketo rakato shadabragadabaladaba. Lord, we believe in you. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Arise, O God of heaven, visit your people. Shabakata parada baroto soto predegate, legata kato prandegate presha da bele de bosh. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Please respond with a resounding amen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, this is not a ritual. I stand on behalf of your people. Lord, these requests represent different dimensions of demonic Jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny. Father, as I step upon this, let this be symbolic of the ark going around Jericho. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen, you're going to shout Jesus. We're going to shout Jesus seven times are we together as a prophetic act over this i'm going to guide you and you will shout it for every one shout let it represent one day going around jericho that at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is if you don't believe you will never never see the salvation of god but for believers you'll be surprised father that you hearken to this prophetic act I know God, I stand leading your people as we shout that name. The name of our high priest who has been exalted above the ironic priesthood, above any kind of priesthood. Are you ready now? I will call the number and you shout Jesus. Are you ready? Number one. Number two. Crumbling every mountain. Number three. Shabakoto Sopataya. Makrotoba. I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we are shouting this Jesus. Number four. Number five. Number six. I put an anointing on this seven shout. Let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Number seven. Number eight. 
I decree and declare unto you prepare for strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ some of you even before you get to your homes or where you came from you will meet it waiting for you like a messenger in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift your hands let's take the prophecy and then we'll round up every shame and reproach that has lingered in your life shame and reproach some of you is a pattern across your family members in the name of Jesus Christ I command shame and reproach be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever hallelujah I release over your life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life hallelujah I decree and declare that every garment he saw Joshua the high priest and he said to remove that garment every garment you are wearing that is attracting bad luck attracting all kinds of things the bible says to give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness i tear off that garment from your life i tear off that garment from your life garment of reproach i tear it off from your life i tear it off from your life in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare divine direction lord what do i do where do i go to tonight by dreams and visions and strange encounters i provoke divine direction to come to your direction in the name of jesus christ master we have toiled all night but i prophesy to you go back this time around to the same place you failed I anoint you go and succeed I anoint you go and succeed I anoint you go and surpass the ordinary in the name of Jesus Christ every door that has refused to open your parents tried it refused to open the Bible says lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted O ye not doors ancient doors I come against every ancient door and every gate swing open now in the name of Jesus swing open now in the name of Jesus swing open now in the name of Jesus every helper that must arise tonight not tomorrow tonight every helper ordained by God to rise up and come to your aid I provoke favor towards you from them I provoke favor towards you from them I provoke favor towards you from them listen whoever has what it takes to help you in the name of Jesus I direct their eyes to you I say it again whoever has what it takes to help you I direct their hearts to you the same mystery that bound Jonathan and David I declare wherever your helper is let it be as it were for Jonathan and David in the name of Jesus Christ all those in ministry here I prophesy to you a strange unction upon the work on your hands step into a new direction step into a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ every family here that has cried that's all you've known to do cry and cry and say when will God deliver us I declare that your weeping has endured enough I prophesy your morning comes and with it joy in the name of Jesus Christ those writing exams let the mercy of God 
the mercy that helped those who went before you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you hallelujah there are people here you are sensing that your spiritual life is dry it's not like you don't love god but revelations they don't come as they used to come again sometimes you open your bible you cannot even read to pray you are sensing something is wrong it's like you know your spiritual life is under attack in the name of jesus christ i launch you to the new a new insight a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter the lord will open your eyes to not only listen to teachings but to get the spirit of the message there are some of us the devil has cheated us by allowing our prayer altar go down in the name of jesus tonight let fire from heaven fall upon your prayer life let the quickening of the spirit fall upon your prayer life every wrong friend in your life whether you want them to go or not in the name of jesus for the sake of god's hand upon your life i separate you with them forever this night i separate you with them forever time wasters destiny wasters i cause a separation between you and them forever we're rounding up some of us here are plagued with the spirit of laziness spiritual laziness mental laziness physical laziness the bible says a lazy hand a slothful hand will that a one that deals with a slothful hand will beg he will become poor i decree and declare the spirit of productive diligence not just diligence the spirit of productive diligence i release it upon you right now are you ready to receive favor i will continue to pray favor upon your life until it works i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ even if you have seen favor in your life by the grace of god i release you to a new order of favor a new order of favor a new order of favor favor is not when you have money favor is when men arise by god to meet your needs if you have money and men don't come to your life you are not favored you are only prosperous you are not favored favor is when men arise that before you call they come they don't come and go they come and stay until the purposes of god have been achieved i call them now from the east the west the north and the south help us of your destiny may they appear before you in the name of jesus christ the glory of the lord is risen upon The glory of the Lord is a reason upon me. Prophesy the glory is the season. The glory of the Lord is a reason upon me. I see the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I see the favor of the Lord. The favor of the Lord is risen. I see the knowledge of the Lord. The knowledge of the Lord is risen upon me. So I arise and shine. I shine. My light is come. And the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. upon us tonight oh God Lord we are tired of religion I pray that this will not just become a ceremony 
let every flesh be crucified and let Christ alone be lifted hallelujah hallelujah God bless you be seated thank you Jesus hallelujah praise God once again it's good to see everyone wonderful faces hallelujah before I begin ministering tonight I'd like to invite one good friend he has not told us happy new year Mazi prosper appreciate him please he's coming up to tell the whole house happy new year good to see you Amen. You know, they always talk about um, the shoe. John the Baptist said, Jesus Christ sandals, he cannot untie. The shoe is putting me inside, I cannot work with it. I have to drop it here also. I want to say a very big thank you and um, Happy New Year to all my house and my friends, my well wishers, my fellowship members. You know, there's one thing I love about him. Anytime I come into Zaria, I have a wedding tomorrow. So I told him I'm coming to fellowship with us. He said, you have to be here. And I want to thank God for all the co-ministers. When I saw them on their suit, it reminded me of the suit I'm going to wear tomorrow. <laughs> That's why I didn't wear my own today. So I'm blessed by your suit. I'm encouraged. In future, I'm going to be wearing this one. <laughs> then before I go, I want to say this. Um, this is um, our resumption time, you know time of resumption, anytime I remember my days in school, it used to be funny. You know, when you resume from school, resume back to school, your pocket is full. I would advise you sow your seed in church and carefully invest into your stomach. You know, when school resumes, the way people cut things from hostel, is so amazing. There is strength, there is money. From hostel, you'll be hearing, Granos! <laughs> Granos! Bring me five and four sugar. That means money is in the pocket. But when semester begins to reduce, middle time, nobody shout again. Money don't reduce, your voice will reduce. What they'll be hearing is, granot, granot, two and one sugar. Then during exam period, when the thing is no more there, the only thing you have is your transport. Nobody shout again. What you'll be hearing one, no blue sugar. I want to say a very big thank you. I love you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's always fun with Marzi Prosper. Hallelujah. Don't worry. This is the semester and the session that you'll be smiling even during the exam. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mark, let's go to the word of God. I want to salute all the men of God in this place. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much for fellowshipping with us. Great servants of the Lord serving in his vineyard. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I trust that the Lord will cause his word to prosper in our hearts and I want to challenge you that this is the year and this is the season where you must make up your mind to put the word to practice hallelujah it's not enough to hear the word it's not enough to hear Rema the end of every revelation is that you apply it it must become part of your life hallelujah it must become part of your life mark chapter 16 Mark chapter 16 Are you there? If you are still looking for the book of Mark We are going to punish you And the punishment is you will listen to all the koinonia messages for last year Because we shared a lot of scripture So you will keep turning until you are used to the Bible how many of you know that when you study the Bible, there is an intimacy between you and the word? That when they say open to the book of this, in your mind you have opened there. We used to do a program 
uh, when I was in secondary school called sword drill. I know some of you don't know it. What do you mean you know it? How many of you? Some of you don't know it. The only thing you know is, well, this is a good year. I'm your friend. Let's let's not go into it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mark 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Can we read it together? One to read. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Hallelujah. I'm doing a teaching tonight titled Conquering Cosmos. Hallelujah. Conquering Cosmos. C O S M O S. Conquering Cosmos. And we must understand the system of the world. God is equipping us. You see, the, the greatest tragedy in Christianity is, is, is not that there are unbelievers or people who are not serious with God. Is that there are so many believers who do not understand the vision of God, the agenda of God, the heartbeat of God, the plan of God. Many believers think that the ultimate desire of God is just to get souls saved and then prepared for heaven. While that is very good, that is not enough. Hallelujah. A few others, especially the Pentecostals and the Charismatics, go a step further. And they believe that all there is to the journey of faith is to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And then others feel that when you get filled with the Holy Spirit, then you know you're right. Then you buy a car and wear a nice suit. And that's the proof that you're growing in the Spirit. Hallelujah. But we've been establishing the fact that God has a need. Say after me, God has a need. And God has an agenda. We did not just appear in space. Hallelujah. Just escorting people. And can I tell you something? Right now that we are in the generation of rediscovery. Everybody, we are rediscovering our talents. We are rediscovering purpose. We are rediscovering the giant in us. The lion in us. The beast in us for other people the antichrist in them everybody is rediscovering all kinds of things that is locked up inside them hallelujah we need to realize that purpose is useless until the kingdom is understood are you following me the concept of purpose the concept of destiny is useless until there is a correct understanding of the kingdom of god how that the kingdom of god is not just a religion it's not a movement jesus didn't come as one of the movement or one of the founders of a movement he gave us a system a kingdom of god hallelujah and so mark 15 says and he said unto them go ye into all the world the word here is cosmos the greek word is cosmos now cosmos talks about two things number one cosmos talks about the social environment talks about the people cosmos are you following me now it talks about the people humanity the inhabitants upon the earth number two cosmos talks about a system a system of government a system of rulership a system of uh, a system that shapes the mind it controls the mind and the ideologies of people are you following me now and so cosmos doesn't just talk about the people it talks about both the people the social environment and the system that shapes their mind there is a system that is existing in our world today that informs the way we behave are you following me now informs the way we talk informs our priorities and our passions years ago the things that we uphold today as priorities were not priorities is that correct years ago there was no gsm right now if your phone gets missing you almost feel like dying you were alive and doing well without the phone so there are certain systems it's an order that seems to have control it governs the mindset of people and territories and jesus said go into cosmos both the people and the systems 
and do something it says go into all the world and preach the gospel now can i tell you something i believe in soul winning ministry of great men billy graham reinhard bonke but evangelism as we know it is only part of the gospel that's not all the gospel are you listening to me the gospel is is a value system are you listening to me it's an ideology it's a mindset it's a value system that seeks to enthrone jesus as lord are you following me now when we talk about the gospel good news a value system a mindset a state of being an understanding an alignment of your mind and your spirit that brings you to a position where you understand government and authority where christ is lord are you following me now not many people have taught this in church we graduate people from bible colleges they learn about prosperity they learn about marriage they learn about ministry ethics but they do not learn about the culture the life the value the gospel of the kingdom we preach different kinds of gospels but jesus came with a single gospel he called it the gospel of the kingdom the word kingdom refers to every environment and atmosphere where the governing influence the life the culture the values of the king is enforced and permitted to find expression so when we talk about the gospel of the kingdom we are not just talking about repenting and coming to jesus alone that's wonderful but that's just the initial step if we stop there we will rob the church of standing in partnership with the holy spirit to fulfill the agenda of god and so you must understand that the gospel does not just seek to transform your spirit are you listening to me to deliver you from hell and eternal judgment no after that then romans chapter 12 verse 1 says i beseech ye brethren by the mercies of god that ye offer your bodies as living sacrifices holy and acceptable unto god he says which is your reasonable act of worship verse 2 says and do not be conformed to this aeon this world this age the thinking pattern that is found in cosmos do not be conformed he said but be transformed be metamorphosed how by the renewal of your mind and first peter chapter 1 verse 9 calls that the end of your faith even the salvation of your soul are you following me now so the gospel is supposed to affect your spirit your soul and your body there's supposed to be an alignment and an understanding for many people our concept of christianity and the gospel is that we come to a point where we become men of god so the day you get born again your vision your goal your pursuit is to get so big that your pastor just calls you and says okay now i see that you are a threat to me in this ministry so go and open a branch and have a nice day and for us that's what we call kingdom advancement it's important that the body of christ comes into an understanding of the system that jesus left with us are you following me now for if we do not come into that understanding we will keep doing what we have been doing and the world will never recognize that jesus christ is lord the average christian does not understand what there is more to our christianity so when you get born again and filled with the holy spirit we are so idle we don't know what to do so someone just turns and looks at a beautiful lady and says, well let's let's get married at least let's keep the journey going somebody else says okay let's get prosperity somebody else says let's open a church or let's open an outreach or an orphanage ladies orphanage or let's open something else but i need you to understand that the kingdom is not haphazard are you listening to me god is not scratching his head thinking okay so what next will we do no the kingdom of god is a structure that has been put in order are you realizing this and so we must come to the understanding of the structure of the kingdom and how we are to function in it and only when let me tell you something what you are seeing right now is a revival that is in place are you listening to me because many believers have taught that christianity has nothing to do with business politics media and all of this 
and so we just feel that all there is to christianity is come to church sing join choir so when we talk of serving the lord what preachers have taught people is serving in my church that's what they call serving the lord I follow me now so they have put a church and ministry mindset in people and so they believe they are serving god when they are serving in church and we frown at them when they say they have left our church or they have left something we just feel you are wasting you are not serving the kingdom we must grow the body of christ out of a church and a ministry mentality to begin to think of the entire span of the kingdom of our father so that our success and accomplishment is not how eni is doing well is how the body of christ universal is faring are you following me now and so it says go into cosmos and preach the gospel put in them both the people and the systems a mindset and an ideology that brings everybody to the obedience of christ where they realize that christ is king where his values becomes the value of that system are you listening to me many people complicate the message of the gospel if jesus intended for everyone to obey the gospel then it had to be simple enough i don't need a concordance to understand the gospel i may stretch to understand god but how does the person in the village ever come into alignment with kingdom realities the gospel is simple it's an ideology is a set of values every time you are employed in a company the first thing they do is an orientation even if you entered with first class is that correct and they attempt to put in you the modus operandi and the value of that company and they tell you we don't come late you come late twice you collect your last salary outside the gate and don't come here again I follow me now and they tell you when you are here you dress in a certain manner you smile at your clients whether you are tired or hungry this is the modus operandi are you following me now the degree to which you align yourself with the values of that company is how much you will be promoted and lifted are you following me now now we understand this in the educational and the secular world but not in christianity the average christian is envisioning when he will become a pastor and have a flock of one million people and all we end up doing is just receiving and prophesying to people with no knowledge whatsoever of the program and the agenda of god and so we keep having beggars lining up day and night without growth and every time you see anybody doing anything the day you see him writing a rap you just look at him and say you're rapping as a christian and now the person is confused starting standing in the middle of nowhere not i every time i sit i sense an inspiration and then you run to the man of god and say what is this inspiration for says demonic kill it now go and carry your bible and what we have ended up doing is growing a crippled church that do not understand the program and the agenda of god we speak in tongues but we do not know to what end we are praying in tongues we cry and we preach about prosperity and kingdom wealth and many people have become an embarrassment for the kingdom because they do not even know the purpose of prosperity we preach about marriage and relationship to what end if we are to be relevant in this generation and if we are to fulfill the agenda of the father then it's paramount that we understand that we are living in a system say after me a system so you see that you really are not a i don't care how many times you come for altar call listen listen let me correct something right now i don't care how many times you come out for altar call you truly are not a christian if you have not imbibed the value system of the kingdom to the point that jesus can be lord of your life can i tell you something there are two conditions to go to heaven write it one is that jesus is savior of your life let me tell you what it means to be savior to be savior means that you have accept the finished work of christ on the cross are you listening to me that you believe that he died for you and you died in him are you listening to me but that's not enough look up it's not enough for jesus to just be savior he must be lord of your life can i tell you something jesus being lord of your life is not by faith why do you call me lord lord and will not do your doing is what validates that he is lord 
so when you say jesus is savior he says yes that's true when he say lord you are lord he says i'm watching i'm watching prove to me that i am lord by showing me how much you value me how much of my life is priority to you are you following me now there are many believers that do not have a priority if the things of the spirit are still a burden to you jesus is not yet lord hallelujah are you listening to me this is very important we have a generation of people who know jesus as savior and so you, we can do anything bribe in the name of jesus no fear of the lord go that's the command into cosmos and let me tell you something a true apostolic ministry i've said it a true apostolic ministry does not just seek to transform people are you listening to me you change people and influence systems this is the part of the church that the church has been so uninterested we do not think about the people beyond the church boundaries and so we have many superstars in church and the world does not even recognize our impact until we begin to step out and legislate as ambassadors of the kingdom then we are not going to be able to affect our world say amen, amen. and and there's no point talking about great grace and glory if we do not understand our mission in the kingdom so cosmos talks of what what is cosmos talks of the social system say after me the social system now i need you to understand that there is a tragedy on earth believers wake up there is a tragedy on earth what is the tragedy there is a system that's what we call the world system that's what we call babylon it started when cain built a city out of rebellion the bible says cain departed from the presence of god and there he built a city naming it after his son enoch and from that city activities were carried out without the supervision of the spirit christ was no longer king over that building i follow me and everywhere god begins to build zion satan also begins to build his city there is always a conflict of the city of our god the zion of our god and the world system the same thing happened in genesis 11 nimrod wanting to build babel can i tell you something the world is attempting to rebuild the tower of babel again and can i tell you who the workers are guess guess who the workers are many of us we are actively helping to build babel he said go to come and let us build a city whose top will reach the heavens and let us make a name for ourselves and there is a spiritual rebuilding of the tower of babel and the church does not understand because we have not trained people to understand the kingdom as a system we only see it as a religion that has to do with members coming to receive from pastors and then that's all but god is helping us and building us and equipping us to understand his system and how to rule and reign in this life there's no point talking about anointing and power and miracles and all of these things if we do not understand the system hallelujah do you realize that every day your mind is being influenced by something are you listening to me every day five minutes on air someone will influence millions of people immediately i was having a haircut and they were playing a very rubbish song and i saw one small boy he just stepped down from the chair and this boy was just dancing he was dancing and singing the song and do you know this boy there was no time when this boy sat down to cram that song do you realize that the things we know we almost don't take our time to learn it because in our environment are things that have been orchestrated to shape our minds and our ideologies are you following me now and many believers do not realize that these are mind control systems they control the way we behave to one another there are a few people 
empowered by satan who represent the government of darkness and according to the leadership of satan these people have mastered the art of creating gadgets creating everything that shapes the mind and the thinking pattern of people i follow me now someone sat down and developed the whole blackberry thing right now people who hit their head on the wall trying to ping one another you're just pinging pinging and you hit yourself and say oh right now you see people moving now i'm not saying these things are bad are you following me now i'm not saying they're bad i'm just telling you what is happening in the world you see somebody looks like a robot with wires all over his body this is for earphone this is for answering calls this is for picking this and wires all over and there's a spare one in case that one and pocket full of batteries and we're moving the system is shaping us shaping us to become what we are not aware of are you listening to me the system defines what we know defines our dress culture the system defines our vocabulary when they need the whole world to begin to speak a particular language all that they do is to find those who are influential why don't they invite you to advertise products do you know why it's not because you are not fine they need more than beauty they need what we call influence say after me influence and so what does um what does beckham have to do with indomie or something and you see they carry a indomie and they draw football on it for how does that affect your eating indomie they they are listen 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 this is very important i need you to understand our text says go into all the world are you following me now and every time they want to ask call children outside and tell them who is your role model they will never mention one believer hallelujah it's amazing how you can exert enormous influence upon people and when we talk about the concept of kingdom influence in the church many people frown we call it carnality yet day and night do you realize that the influence of the world is so strong right now in many ministries they vote for the sermons that they preach on sunday so the pastor displays different sermons on their websites and then every member without discernment without everything just logs in and if for any reason uh, right now we do not understand the concept of price and process these are not languages that are they are, are friendly we have seeker friendly people friendly ministries once there's no ac people get angry you know why you didn't learn it because you see the thing is how many times do they give us light in nigeria for us to learn these things and so they began to on your phone it doesn't die easily and so all kinds of things there is a shaping and if church if we do not realize it we will become what we are not aware of one day you wake up to find out that your son is not what you gave birth to again hallelujah i wonder what the slang will now be after five years do you realize that the worldly songs that are written right now they are so spiritual they make no sense to you when you listen to them physically they use words that are not even in the lingua franca again in your english language hallelujah they write songs you don't understand because they know that you love them they encapsulate those songs with melodies that are from the realm of the spirit so that your spirit is drawn to them and you keep confessing those words we do not realize that these are mind control systems are you following me tonight many parents are influenced so right now there are certain parameters that must be in place if a man is 50 years old otherwise he will not fit into his environment and so we see our father suffering for nothing this guy is trying to build the third house everybody is dying in the house and he's strangling everybody because there is a system that has controlled his mind it used to be for young people but right now it's everybody are you listening to me mind control system there is a particular slang and language that if you cannot use in another community you do not belong 
So many of us force ourselves, we browse day and night through our phone to learn the current lingua franca and we call it acclimatizing ourselves to Babylon. Do you see how we are helping ourselves to rebuild the Tower of Babel? That rebellious city. So the gospel is not just preaching to get men born again. Are you listening to me? The gospel is a mindset, a value system that separates you from the world system and brings you to a point where from your life and your activity you demonstrate the lordship of jesus christ mazi prosper is here there's the entertainment industry you can ask him and he'll tell you when he started how many churches insulted you how many churches call you an unserious person? Can I tell you something? Our concept of ministry must change. Our concept of ministry has been a man of God wearing suit and then you come and sit down and then a lady gives you water and someone will be admiring me here and say, hey, God, oh, this guy is enjoying. You see, that's our concept of ministry. That's our concept of ministry and so all our goal and our pray when we pray in tongues that's the picture we see and then the moment you get little honor you call one lady and say have you not seen what they are doing that's why we seek to give an orientation that this is not the definition of success are you listening to me the bible says that the fivefold will train the body that they will do the work of the ministry so when jesus says go into all the world where did he say systems the education as a system banking and finance as a system are you listening to me music art and culture because there are so many people that sense that the lord is calling them into the fashions ministry and the moment they come we men of god stand with our lack of ignorance and lack of understanding and alignment to kingdom things and we just kill them like eli when they are hearing the voice when god is calling samuel we will tell samuel to go back and sleep hallelujah forbes forbes hundred richest people none of them as i know is a christian who publicly acknowledges the lordship of god how do you like that now don't say it doesn't matter because they are affecting our economy and they will cripple us to a point that we must abide by their terms do you realize that there are many companies that we seek to work in we do not know the values of these companies we are suffering and trying to work for them and as we are working for them guess what they are doing with your money guess they are funding all kinds of things from terrorism to prostitution to doing there are so many companies in this country that are the forefront of women trafficking and all kinds of things and all we are thinking about because we will not give ear to understanding god's economic system and coming to a place of kingdom influence all we are concerned is to get your eighty thousand a month and every time a voice rises to talk satan begins to wire the minds of the people to think all we are talking about is just prosperity and goodness and me and my wife and children no are you following me tonight is, is god doing something to your mindset if we don't take charge a time do you realize that in this country right now and the ambassador came over and he was just talking to me do you realize that glow and all of these companies if you want to do an advert or you want to work with them the moment you mention jesus you are out true or false come on answer me true or false most of the television programs that are held now there are lots of people who have written songs and have dramas and plays and things that will glorify jesus christ but the moment you bring it what happens People just kill it they tell you at most just say divine divine is okay at least everybody knows it's not of this realm and now a lot of people are saying it doesn't matter and while you're sitting down god is raising in you to be a media mogul you see yourself in dreams owning tv stations and the moment you want to move people tell you just read just calm down it's okay to marry a pastor 20 members and move on what do we think was what was god's idea when jesus came and died 
what was in his mind many of us will get to heaven and i pray it doesn't happen but that we get to heaven and see how much we contributed in the advancement of satan's kingdom are you following me now and then when believers open universities we have a lot of christians who are talking and speaking nonsense and saying ah these men of god they are establishing universities for their personal gains are you not seeing what is happening in our university systems where students are not even interested in reading again everybody just wants to go just go sleep with the lecturer do go get out get out of the university when a student comes in as he's holding his admission letter he's already imagining himself at the convocation square how you get there is none of your business i just want to get out someone who has not held his first lecture is already crying and saying i want because they understand that this is a pattern that has been put in the system to define success and so they just want to pass through it and they will do anything to get to it and there are many believers who are preaching who are jumping right here while unbelievers are designing curriculums do you realize that there are very few believers that are writing books the textbooks that we use in our classes that educate us for six years you sit down under a mindset that has no honor for the kingdom and at the end of it you receive your certificate but you are 60 percent babylon and 40 percent zion and it's with that mindset you step in that mindset will choke the faith that you have such that when you come out what you used to esteem as faith becomes foolishness the moment you step out there are certain things we honor and we i mean when someone starts working we are under pressure so much pressure the moment you start working you earn 200,000. people start telling you please will you get a car buy a car your parents begin to mount pressure on you they say what is left you are working don't bring shame to us it's a system are you listening to me and we are that generation that will begin to question the things that have been the status quo are you listening to me i am provoking you to begin to question the things that have informed your mind because there are many of us who are falling down the ditch we inherited something from a true leader provokes you to begin to consider the foundation of the things that have informed your value system because at the rate at which we are going jesus christ is being strangled in every strata they want to strangle him until he comes out let me tell you how they are doing it look up right now the world is promoting associations and things that bring men to a neutral ground are you listening to me that's why football is being promoted in football nobody fights not on account of religion not anything i follow me now right now when a child is um a child has a right to leave his parents and even disown them in america i hope you know that and we're embracing it nicely another thing is what we call the credit system in our economy what a foolish and ungodly economic system let me tell you what the credit system is buy everything on credit look fine on credit buy a big house on credit and leave that's really what we call generational causes because right now there are many flamboyant people that we admire and many nigerians are walking lying claiming they marry you bring your sister and say say you are my wife oh let's get this green visa say you are my wife you go out if you say you are not this and we drag people and we name all kinds of things one man married to 50 people because he wants to get visa and we are running to america do you know the disaster that is happening in america america is the country with the most debt in the world has about one i think 1.7 or 170 trillion us dollars they are leaving it for their the children the foolish children who don't go to schools again they are not doing anything the average child gets up and the next thing he knows is computer game in that computer game there is shooting and right now they do it 3d so that the child will be exposed to blood and violence and while the child sits down the next thing he looks at his younger brother and his mind has been controlled he flies from the younger brother and punches him when blood comes out he laughs because that's what has been trained in our children as a definition of a macho man welcome believers we are entering a truly new age 
and can i tell you something if we do not i hope you know our parents will die or leave us when this mindset matures it will be your turn you'll be a glad father of three or five or ten children as you wish but let me tell you something there is a real system and it's important that we train our minds otherwise there is disaster on the way to happen hallelujah an average child grows and you see the child ask children what toy do you want me to buy for you what's the first thing they'll say who taught them who taught them and right now they've made it in such a way that when you shoot at least something comes out and the child gets happy he comes to look at you and just pours water on your face and he's laughing he's envisioning the day you hold the real one at 13 years there is a gang prepared by babylon that this child steps into do you realize the disaster that is happening believers wake up this is not about e and i this is about a matter of urgency this is what is in the heart of the father there is a need not only and those who have even thought about the kingdom all we teach is overcoming that means run away do you know where are you going to run to the bible says we are in the world jesus prayed a prayer for you if you do not know let me tell you the prayer jesus prayed for you he said father i pray that you don't bring them out of that system preserve them you are not going anywhere jesus has prayed for you already and the father has answered it it's in john 17. it's a prayer that had been answered before you were born you're not so running away in a sense of fleeing are you going to stop watching tv there are almost no decent films for you to entertain yourself with right now cartoons that used to be very enlightening right now cartoons are demonic you initiate your child your child looks at you wakes up you are sleeping and you wake up and you see your child holding a shoe and wants to hit your head he's trying to children are not good listeners but they are good imitators and so those graphic images have been so much a child at age two or three or four sits down on a laptop and all the pornographic sites have been paid for they are free and you want to download a message and they tell you for 25 dollars you know that's a christian website <laughs> am i challenging you many believers do not know this can i tell you satan has crippled our minds so that we do not understand the kingdom or we are not interested in it whether you are interested in it or not i bring you good news is coming there is a rebuilding of the tower of babel and if saviors do not rise out of zion to judge the mount of esau there will be catastrophe in the years that are coming the antichrist is not just a person the antichrist is a system there is a figure who will head that system but there is a system and is at work right now hallelujah you want to market granite oil you are putting a lady who is half naked the granite oil is a lady now for heaven's sake how does grant right now you want to work in the bank you are not pretty you're not getting a job i hope you know that graduate with first class keep your first class once you're not pretty and you're looking nice they look at you they don't hide it they examine you are you going to bring profit to the bank or not i've had the privilege to talk to a few bankers and some of the people you smile at as marketers are trading their eternal destiny for eighty-five thousand naira. there is shame on the church and we must arise we are here boasting of our cars boasting of many branches we are opening and we are not making any effect because we are not going into the world and so we are talking about a takeover generation this is why we need the anointing if we are talking of a year of great grace and glory we must not just run away from the system because the system will come and meet us the bible says a time will come when men will tell the mountain fall on us and the mountain will say i'm not falling anything so how many of us are interested in what i'm sharing this night the, if you are not interested just pray to die quickly but if you are going to live in this nigeria it's happening faster how how about having someone who will receive the spirit of bezalel and design a computer that the logo is the cross how about somebody designing an operating system that when you switch it on it says for god so loved the world everybody must buy it it's, it's configured in the software you can't change it aren't you realizing the things that are happening 
and our concept of Christianity is ba 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 ba. And a few superstars touch a few people, we fall down, and the world is laughing. When the owner of MTV was asked a question, I'm provoking you. He said, We hear that you influence the mind of children from age 7 to 15. He laughed. He said, We don't influence them, we own them. Let me tell you the implication. I know you are 30 years old, but the problem is this. By the time those you do you know those children are growing and god is speaking to you and saying a school and you're saying no a church that's my concept of ministry god is saying a school that you offer additional one of the visions of e and i will look forward to times when we will have a primary school who have schools and part of the programs we introduce to the curriculum will introduce a program called koinonia and spiritual growth every child must offer it that you teach your child you hold ten thousand and give him one thousand and say son every time you get money according to the economy of heaven you tithe watch me do it as a father and you say put your own and the child does it do you realize that there is need to invade the minds if you forget about invading the minds of the people you have not changed them i don't care how many times they fall and stand up you must invade their minds you are glorious so glorious in your ways this is what we call the new revival the revival is not going to happen like many people think there are many men of god who will be shocked at the revival that is coming because let me tell you who are the revivalists the revivalists will no longer be those who are boasting and making themselves god on stage that you must come and answer to them to get the counsel of the spirit sorry for them god is navigating another part he is raising men who he will equip by the spirit you see our concept of preaching is going to change that you are god will send you to the system mazi is here he has entered certain places are you following me now and everywhere as he's preaching he is where he is today on account of the kingdom if we were only to compromise many television channels will carry him pick him and use him but on account of the kingdom he has made up his mind that he will live by the value of the kingdom do you realize that if an influential man says god bless you that's enough to bring more salvations than one evangelistic meeting imagine michael jackson just saying i love god not even the lord not even jesus just i love god so god wants to give you a company that before you start you gather everybody and say let's lift up our voice and bless the one who made it possible for us today it is your company whoever is not interested can find one. when he goes out and darkness covers the earth he will come back And God, this is the real revival. Saviors shall come out of Zion. And they shall judge the mount of Esau. Are you prepared for the things that God is doing? This is a time where you sense a prophetic call upon your life. You know that you are walking strongly in the prophetic. But every time you look at the boutique and you think of suit, God will say, no way. I'm sending you... To the navy and you say lord navy with the prophetic grace god said that's none of your business the mission is follow me just go and then we'll need more people more prophets and apostles in the police so that when there are terrorists hiding by prophetic insight you get up and call them. listen listen this is god's strategy for invading the world system there are some messages that are attacked strongly by the forces of darkness god is raising many of us let me tell you something the way i'm dressed like this there are certain circles in this world that will not receive me they'll say just go out and so god will say all right no problem gentlemen come and god gives you an understanding and gives you a value system you see that's why all this quarrel that we are doing and shouting in church and trivializing a lot of things is because we do not understand the agenda of god and so god causes you to be a millionaire hallelujah and when god causes you to be a millionaire what happens 
because it's, it's part of the life of the poor to beg when they come without invitation you have people and you begin to teach them the things of god cecilia Hebrew during her thanksgiving had a number of unbelievers coming they didn't come because they love god they, they came because they need her can you make yourself so competent that the world must need you and then you can give them your terms hallelujah when you're walking somewhere you you suffer in school you study for years with all the strike the moment you graduate and they are giving jobs they just call and the manager says he wants to see you privately and he says sir i fear the lord he says so what are you doing in my office go to church and he says sir i'm, I'm serious i fear the lord but because we are desperate i see a mystery servants are on horses while sons princes walk afoot and the man says if you're interested in your job this is the part of the story we don't say when we're giving thanksgiving testimony in church come and join me sing hallelujah jehovah jerry has taught me well and then everybody dances praise the lord i graduated with third class and without interview i got a job calm down tell us the whole story what happened if it's the favor of god let's know it's the favor of god i can tell you there are many people who have compromised the values of the kingdom and we men of god cannot speak because they are bringing tithe to us so if you speak they will stop bringing the tithe no more suit because we have trained ourselves to depend on the sheep that we have been called to save for our prosperity and would not run to him i would lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help conquering cosmos there is a system that is antichrist and so everyone must come to a point where jesus is lord of your life and that everywhere you are he is because you have one passion you have one mission you have one goal there are many of us right now who can start different pages on facebook that glorify jesus christ i remember one time a gentleman sent one very nasty message on facebook and i saw a jimmy researching scriptures when i saw him lining two or three bibles i knew that gentleman was in trouble as me got the verses i went on facebook and addressed that gentleman how many times have people sent their thoughts and then you're on facebook and you see someone write something against your god and you just well when you're in rome behave like the romans do this passive non-offense christianity will not advance the kingdom are you listening to me when you write a song they edit it and they say if they must take you to big brother nigeria remove this remove that remove this don't you have values say after me i have a value system everybody say it inside and outside i have a value system we are not a bunch of hopeless people waiting for the world to give us values are you listening to me we have values We have a goal that Jesus be enthroned. Be honest with me. Look up. Maybe, okay, our minds have been changed here. How many of our parents go to work because they are seeking an opportunity to let the kingdom of God come in that company? How many? When did you ever see your father and your mother get up and say, as I step into this office, Lord, salary or no salary, let your kingdom come. You will never do that when you are poor and broke. Are you listening to me we need men and women who love god more than money let me tell you something for as long as the church is not empowered enough the world will keep baiting us with offers we cannot resist they will bait you and they will make you to bow to bear and you will bow before you know it because the vicissitudes of life will strangle you you suddenly wake up and see three children saying daddy are you say where did you come from they say you are daddy <laughs> when when did all this happen suddenly you realize that it was faster than you ever thought a time will come when they will attempt to strangle i have you not heard that nations will rise against nations 
and kingdoms systems there will be a real clash and God is preparing you and I hope you realize that Satan will not cross his legs when he sees you being committed with the wealth of the kingdom to silence the activity of Babylon I look forward to certain people who will become real kingdom financiers that you are so blessed the next thing is the moment you hear that there is one who is singing unto the glory of God you come and say we're we are giving you a record label you are producing we are giving you the best sound quality and we have access to all the marketers every radio station in this country must hear that he is Lord how many of us are that empowered when we start doing a five minutes talk show on NTA we celebrate it and we dance and we jump the remaining 23 hours how many minutes someone someone comes up and speaks nonsense you change channels you don't have any other channel to change so you listen and while you are not around you are busy looking for money walking till night your child is there gullible absorbing everything they are giving and then when you come back say boy what did you learn guess what it's not a memory verse he will recite to you we need to true leaders think of prosper, pro posterity many of us say i'm too young do you realize while you are saying oh god when will my wedding come god is uh -uh. when will the change come are you ready to change the generation you want to raise otherwise we will raise another casualty god had to intercept in our generation otherwise we would have become like our parents hallelujah we'll soon pray but I'm redefining the concept of ministry and the kingdom. How that we need to arise and conquer cosmos. No, no, me, I'll just calm down quietly. I don't want to become an international figure. I don't want pride. Take the world, give me Jesus. Really? By the grace of God. We are involved in paying the school fees of many people and taking care of the welfare of many people there are a number of people in this place who have been disowned by their families on, a, on account of declaring the lordship of jesus christ over their lives and we have a bunch of believers who pray in tongues share the grace and leave those people what happens to them when they backslide and go into the world we are the first to open our mouths and say you see them they are not firm in their faith what do we think governs these people when people are hungry and there's no food the lady is crying and somebody is telling her only bow to bell you are suffering too much and when they come to us and say sorry there's i i need food to eat what happens we just say sorry uh, i wish i have something to help you with there's not much but i pray that the lord who sent me will bless you i release upon you an anointing for favor and then the lady gets up and while she's trekking from koinonia to go to her house someone intercepts and she's tired and the person says i was wondering if you would want a ride and say well it's just a ride don't you realize that satan tempts you at the point of your desperation church if we do not rise up satan will leave us preaching on pulpit and be destroying everybody a time will come when demons will sit down in churches mega churches and demons will be the members and the ministers are busy working for god they are out of alignment with his program and his system we are working building branches and satan says please keep working distract them and many people are coming because all that we focus on is membership oh we are just trying make make sure they are happy give them fun make sure they are working well if anybody complains of headache run with first aid miracle no just make it happen let them be warm and comfortable and while that is happening satan is invading our system you buy bonds before you eat it you see a writing that you must read you look at it and satan has been honored how many of you make bonds and make puff puff every time you think of putting something and say something like in christ uh do not it doesn't sound fashionable isn't it that's the problem that's exactly what i've tried to communicate our mindsets have been worked upon but if i call it if i call it um x 
omega donut how about that what does that mean to you with respect to the kingdom this is deliverance this is a deliverance service this night this is a deliverance service where the lord is helping us are you listening to me the greatest deliverance is that you align yourself with kingdom reality i hope as we are laughing we are getting something go ye into all the systems did he say run away go ye go ye into the media aaron and when someone comes to plan events while you talk to the person you say i was wondering um tell me your perception about life and the things of the kingdom and then you get to talk with the person i look forward to times when we are about to make to make a speech and then we speak and say now on to the king the whole world is listening to you millions of people on to the king eternal they don't like what you are saying but your competence will make room for you and while you are reading the speech people are suddenly getting healed cancers are disappearing it's not an anointed service but the kingdom is there and since the kingdom is there all the attributes of the kingdom must show forth and the moment you are speaking the prince of dubai or somebody comes to meet you and you look at him and tell him you've been having a challenge in your family what's the problem and he says how did you know say okay let's i'm inviting you over for lunch and you have the money to pay for his lunch then you invite him over for lunch and while you speak to him he gives you an opportunity to run a crusade see friends do you love god you must embrace his system this is the paradigm that i seek to bring for us tonight if this is your mindset then god will give you the anointing if this is your mindset then you will have the charisma and the influence do not reject the influence of the kingdom realize that god is bigger than eni say after me god is bigger than eni say god is bigger than koinonia god is even bigger than you your kingdom reigns your kingdom reigns above all Above all, Lord, your kingdom reigns. Your kingdom reigns. Above all, above all, above all. Hallelujah. I never knew that I would be an entrepreneur outside of being a minister and god shifted my mindset when he made me know that if he makes you an entrepreneur is also ministry are you realizing there are people who i have access today not because i'm a preacher but on, a, on account of offering products and services that they need that they cannot provide how many of you have songs that are locked up in your spirit that the nations need to hear how many of you have visions how many drama ministries are quietly lying down here that have been kicked out from churches how many of you have voices that have not been received or embraced no one will want to sponsor you how many kingdom financiers are hearing the cry of the spirit how many people are sensing a call to go into the military and we are preaching them out of it how many people are sensing a call to be politicians it's not like they want money something in there is a restlessness it's an alignment of destiny i bring you a message there is a mandate upon us go ye into cosmos let there be media giants who will arise who will not only snap for koinonia but one day will stand and snap in ait moguls who will be voices i look forward to times when they will interview you when un will call you when unesco will call you unesco will call the white dog foundation and say what solution that's when your anointing will get into work your prophetic grace your apostolic grace is useless when you cannot permeate the system it's useless i look forward to times when you will have why are we leaving the sheratons why are we leaving the 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 
Le meridians and all of these things. These are not people that are godly. I look forward to times when you will have a hotel. And in your hotel there is a rule. No prostitutes. You bring any prostitutes, we kick you out of the hotel. Whether or not you believe it. Let me tell you, the excellence in your hotel will force people to say, no problem, let's just come. And when they come, the only programs they can watch is CNN, TBN, your channel, your own channel, where Jesus alone will be glorified. I'm sharing with you a piece of my passion. This is what I see. My ultimate goal is not to stand on the pulpit and preach. My ultimate goal is to be on the frontier of prophecy. To use the apostolic grace he has given me to invade the system. Every one of us has a defined system. Arise generals, go ye into that system and begin to be agents of national transformation. Do the masters, do the PhD if it will take you. Go, go into the system, gain the access and enter that system and introduce the value system make the universities build them build the secondary schools build the primary schools build the libraries go ahead and train yourself get a masters in cinematography get whatever you get buy or open a studio name it rafa studios he reigns until we are ready to invade the system this way then forget about what we call christianity this puts you in a sense of responsibility are you following me now so when satan brings sickness you see why god will want to heal you because he knows that you are purpose your mind to be relevant you didn't learn how to cook you think god gave it to you so that your husband will appreciate you is he the only person on earth there is a mandate bigger than your husband that your restaurant becomes the best in Zaria. That you, your excellence is compelling. Many of you have come today because of the prayers and because of the excellence. Now that you are here, you can hear this. Can you receive the anointing and take this back to the system? Many of you need to go back when you're on break. Your parents have primary school. They say, come and be the principal. You have graduated before service. And you laugh and say, me, God forbid, I got first class. Are you out of your mind? Do you not realize that there is a goyi? The goyi is bigger than your personal desire. Your job was never supposed to finance your, your life. I've been criticized for years for misleading people. Let me tell you something. If all you have as your mindset is job, you will never prosper. Satan will keep dragging us. Go ye. The true spirit of evangelism is beyond a three-day crusade. The true spirit of evangelism is a takeover spirit. It's a true evangelistic and an apostolic spirit. You will not, many of us just stand, you're just talking where you're your all kinds of things stand near someone and be spitting saliva on him brother this and that and that i want to tell you there's a heaven i want to tell you there's a hell i want to tell you jesus is lord you are talking to the person for 10 minutes you don't know his name the person is worried with a challenge and he says brother do you know what has happened to me in this life i need you to know that i have not eaten for two days he said well i bring you a message that is greater than food i need you to know that there's an eternity what what are we saying That's why we teach you about the principles of the kingdom. Not for us to buy Lincoln Navigator. And when I drop from it, they say, man, is this the president of ENI? A young man so rich like this? To, to what end is that? Let me tell you, I've been delivered. I have been thoroughly delivered by the Spirit of God. I understand what the mandate of the kingdom is. And when you are on your heels, God will bring the members. God is tired of sending members to ministries where we punish them. And all that we do, we create an extra room inside. And then Jamfa is the one inside. This is a prophet. Then when I preach, I charge your spirit. And then you enter there. And then as you are entering, the first thing you encounter is the basket. According to your problems. Let me tell you something. There is a shift coming in our concept of church and ministry. There are many people who have turned the kings 
those who are supposed to reign in life and has made them animals you come to church you don't know anything about the ways of god all you know is let's go to church they serve communion to what end you do not know i shall not die but live to what end i don't know you are awakening the giant in you to go to where we teach on prosperity with no vision we teach on relationship with no vision valentine's day is when 14th many of us are warming up to be misled again for another one year until you understand that you are in, that's why i bless god like i know I, there's an announcement we'll put here there are visionary ministries that have programs that are a subset of the kingdom this is not a movement this is the message the kingdom and we are going to pray conquering cosmos i bring you a message tonight that in this season of great grace and glory you have an assignment if you open a church and only five members come for one year close it and open a business where they come to buy something start selling and preaching when they come you can go back I'm tired of people who are not moving at the at the at the things of god you sit down there how many people come to beer palace your church is near a beer parlor you are seeing them coming and they are paying millions you see 70 or 90 people people are queuing finish drinking and go out now and they are waiting and you are there shouting ringing bells up and down nobody's coming to your church why don't you act it is how they come is not an issue attract them attract them there are many of you that don't believe in praying in tongues you don't even believe in jesus christ the only thing you believe in, in good is good music and when you add that the worship team is good you say let me come and check out there are many of you who the reason why you came is you like a sense of you just hear that there are people inside and koinonia even has overflow you say really let's come and see it doesn't matter what brought you welcome that's the point so we use every means given to attract you and when you come the sword of the spirit is already rotating around your head and when it lands it it divides it cuts the soul the marrow everything and brings out the life in you friends there is a burden upon you that only you have been set aside to achieve and to accomplish i bring you a message we are very serious people tomorrow we are going to be having a leaders workshop we are not just thinking of how to advance e and i know this is just for the leaders in the house every ministry every true ministry must have a vision our vision is not just salvation there is something we have an impute to the body there is a unique impute that you must find that you give the body if you do not have it you don't have a ministry hallelujah so it's time for you to arise every time we talk of arise many of us we just imagine ourselves going out from a well and sitting inside a gym uh -uh. arise means wake up to your responsibility the purpose of rights is for responsibility you know your rights in christ so that you can perform your kingdom responsibility you sit down and your roommate is speaking vulgar languages you talk to, don't insult the person but you talk to the person in love and tell the person do you realize that your words have power don't just say do you know god hates talking bad you have not ministered to the person i'm stirring up the real spirit of evangelism in us this is the true spirit of evangelism by god's grace we'll be announcing some of our evangelical packages that we have but right now it's time for us to pray and we are going to pray and ask the lord to help us and grant us the grace the influence the power the anointing the understanding for there is a rebuilding of the tower of babel and the sons of jacob must arise and judge the mount of esau rise up on your feet rise up on your feet inside and outside go ahead and pray in the spirit pray in the spirit over this word that you have heard your generation will bless you go ahead and pray the entrance of thy word give it light and understanding 
Go ahead and pray. That's why you came. When we call you a champion, you really are a champion. Pray in the spirit. Save your salaries out of Zion, and they shall judge the Mount of Ephraim. Go ye into cosmos. Take over. Take over. Take over cosmos. Take over the media. Take over. Take over the pulpit. Take over the universities. Take over with the mindset that he is king. He is Lord. This is the takeover generation. Arise, O generals, go ye into cosmos, go ye into the media, go ye into the business world, go ye, go ye, set up the restaurants, offer products and services that will attract many, go to the schools, the Lord is calling the values of the kingdom the spirit of God is not in us just to do church go to the embassies go into the political scene he is calling there is an anointing in the military, in the navy in the air force oh there is an anointing Save us shall arise out of Zion and they shall judge the Mount of Esau. The agenda is beyond money, it's beyond marriage. Come on, pray. You are not ordinary. There is an apostolic spirit upon you. Rise up kingdom financiers, media giants, Facebook, Twitter, to go. The Lord is calling and throne Christ. Music ministers, arise. Businessmen, arise. Scholars, doctors, professors, arise by the Spirit. Diplomats, hear the sound of the Spirit. I bring you an apostolic call that the systems of this world will come and align with the systems of our God. Rise to a point of influence. Develop yourself and value until the world cannot resist you. Come on, pray. Business apostles, business prophets, IT, IT moguls, the next Zuckerbergs, the next Steve Jobs, rise up IT giants, the next doctors, the next lawyers, the next presidents, the next governors. For the sake of his majesty, rise up. The next family life coaches. Time to arrive. Go ye into cosmos. Give them a mentality. Give them a mentality. Give them a mentality. The value of the kingdom. Upholding his majesty. Upholding his majesty. I challenge you, arise, the 
seed of glory is in you. The seed of greatness. You may not look like it. Arise. We are the saviors. On one hand, we are praying in the spirit. On another hand, we are taking over cosmos. Pray the Spirit, generate energy. Hallelujah. I know I'm not ordinary. I know I'm not ordinary. The grace of God bringing me to a point of influence where I will declare to the nations that Jesus is Lord. God is giving ideas. God is restoring dreams. God is putting new passions. Let the dream come alive. There is a cause to live for. There is a cause to live for. Beyond your job, there is a cause to live for. The training is worth it. The building is worth it. You are the light. The definition of darkness is the world without you. Arise. Take over generation. Go ye into cosmos. Take over channel O. Take over MTV. Take over the internet. Take over the internet. Open websites. Open blog pages. And throne him as Lord. Open schools. Open libraries. Institutions. My generation will hear the voice of the king. Even in my life, my generation will hear the voice of his majesty. Come on, pray. You are registering yourself for greatness by the spirit. Hallelujah. Listen. There are many books lying in this place to be written that will enthrone him as Christ. You may not start writing it now, but are you developing yourself in writing? God has told you you are going to become a public figure. Although you may be in the bank now, have you let the banking job take away your mind from your focus? song titled their album for this cause there is a cause I tell you the truth my mindset is not to be a preacher my mindset is not to sit down and preach and carry a big tummy and cross my leg and now people just keep coming for deliverance cases when I drop the mic here I get to walk every one of us here when we drop the wheel we are doing something for the kingdom i challenge you servants of god there are books to write there are websites to open there are blog pages to open the trouble is many of us want a ministry where you are king of kings and lord of lords and you have many members come so you want a secretary and a pa and all of that There are many of us you see one of the mindsets we're going to round up soon one of the mindsets i trust that god will take out of our minds how old is zuckerberg 27 27 years old many of you are getting blessed from facebook we are streaming life to many people right now only god knows how many people are streaming this program in a few weeks time we're going to start live telecasts to people from the internet listen listen to me if those
those who discovered this thing sat down and said i'm young our parents have called us young every time we bring ideas they say small boy my friend go and concentrate in your school are you going to allow people to kill the vision of the spirit in you there is nothing wrong with you writing something and taking it for people in NTA or all of these things there is nothing wrong why don't you open a blog page that helps people to answer questions spiritual questions about their lives must everybody know you are a ministry in that respect our concept of ministry must change radically not everybody is called into the fivefold but everybody is called into ministry everybody the condition to be ministry is that you are in the kingdom hallelujah there are songs that we need to write there are songs that we need to receive look beyond eni look beyond koinonia i will cheat you if all i'm looking for is to gather people who pay allegiance to me i'm not a demon i've been delivered by the spirit of god the kingdom of god is above and beyond the personal agenda of any man our job is to raise to train to equip you to make you leaders in your own spheres of influence are you listening to me i leave you with a question tonight i want you to write it as bold as you can on your notepad will you feel god that's a question i have write it as bold as you can and meditate on it will you feel god not will we no will you as a person feel god Will you feel God? If Zuckerberg did not launch Facebook, there are many souls that have been saved through Facebook. There are many people. There are some of you, can I tell you something? There are some of you who want God to use you for ministry. You can start from somewhere. Some of you can say every week, I will order 10 messages, 10 koinonia messages. That's my job. I will package it in a CD. You mustn't say Aaron, Aaron International Power Gospel Center. No. You can say I'll package it and I would I would take it to Giwa or take it to Zaria City and distribute. It may not be much, nobody may know, but that's your own contribution. Do you realize that you are advancing the kingdom? So the worship team, look at them. They have been standing with me for hours. Why are they standing? You know what motivates them? They are not just trying to bring a pride to Koinonia. It is the sacrifice for many of you to, to enjoy the atmosphere and receive. Is this kingdom of advancement? Of course it is. Are you listening to me? They are rehearsing every day in the week to be as competent. I mean every time. Mondays, Fridays, I mean Thursdays and all of that. Are you listening to me? The members of the media they are here moving around you see the concept is the kingdom once the kingdom is your priority nobody will have to push you into doing some things again you will seek an opportunity to show the lord that you are relevant in his kingdom hallelujah one last prayer point you're going to hold the hands of your neighbor and we're going to pray as a family of faith we're going to say lord listen Although you are holding the hand of your neighbor, you are going to say, Lord, reveal my place in destiny to me. Are you listening to me? My place in destiny. I, I, I reveal my uniqueness. Where have you planted me to be relevant in your kingdom? I'm tired of escorting people from pillar to post. Lift up your voice and pray. Reveal my place in destiny. Ashatabaka Go ahead and pray. Oh God, the revelation. You may be serving in Koinonia now, but your life is bigger. Grant me a revelation of my place in life and destiny. Go ahead and pray. Reveal 
my place in destiny. I don't want to be busy here and there doing nothing. Let my assignment occupy me. Let me prepare for it. Reveal my place in destiny. Your place is not church. Your place in the system, not in Koinonia. There is a role you have to play beyond church in the system. In the system, you have a role to play. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I challenge you, please don't fail God. We must train ourselves to a point where your Christianity is not just on Sundays. It is an ideology. Are you listening to me? Don't forget what you have learned tonight. That the kingdom life is an ideology. is a mindset. It's a value system. That's what I'm doing to you. It's a, it's a mindset. It's an alignment. So that you begin to think kingdom. The agenda of God. Can I tell you something? When you begin to think that you become immortal until your assignment is completed you know why because you have aligned yourself so much god would rather a nation perish for your sake and then your evangelism will be effective because when you get people born again you follow them up you don't follow them up by telling them in our church this is what we do that's not follow up that's indoctrination follow up is to introduce them to the kingdom life and teach them the basic principles of the kingdom i trust that god will cause us to be matured by the spirit hallelujah one of our activities this year is to engage everybody i listen to me i will put fire in your bones until you are meaningfully engaged either training yourself there's no idleness this year are you listening to me you are either training yourself or you are doing something for the kingdom we have different activities you are training yourself so you are reading a book or you are writing something or you are resting or you are meditating there's no idleness you now begin to value your time when god tells you you have two years to manifest and he tells you the things you must do within that two years your enemy is the person who comes to distract you and waste your time are you listening to me father we thank you for tonight thank you for teaching us creating a responsibility in our hearts to invade the world system creating an urgency in our hearts that there is a rebuilding of the tower of babel and that the sons of jacob must arise and judge the mount of israel father let the seed of the word of god that has been sown tonight prosper let it prosper in our hearts hallelujah when you go back to your rooms teach others are you listening to me you mustn't call it a bible study when you go to your teach others go back home and teach others this is the year you engage yourself hallelujah very quickly if you're worshiping with us for the first time tonight i'd like you to leave your seat very quickly please leave your seat and come we love you and we want to acknowledge your presence appreciate them as they come inside and outside first timers quickly please appreciate them they are coming first timers inside and outside we love you keep clapping they are coming thank you very much for coming appreciate every one of them we love you we value you you are special you mean a lot to us Please just keep coming. Just keep coming. Touch us directly in the space for you. Keep clapping inside and outside. Appreciate them. Great men and women of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you very much for making our time to worship with us. I hope you were blessed. 
Hallelujah. We're going to pray for you that the Lord will bless you and cause that his word will prosper. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.